Question, question, tell me where you at. Your motivation guy is pumped up and back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you guys the best Fortnite player and the best person you can possibly be. All right, we did it, guys. We made it past 2019. And uh, wait a minute, it's 2022? <laughs> wow. You know, it may be hard to believe that it's 2022. But, you know, one thing that we can be sure of is that we have plenty of Fortnite content to look forward to this year. I'm telling you right now. You know, we barely scratched the surface of Chapter 3. And as we speak, there are plenty of leaks and information coming out that really gives us a glimpse at some of the cool things headed our way this year. So let's take a look at some of these new potential updates, shall we? But before we do, it's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. All right, so the return of Tilted Towers is probably like one of the worst kept secrets in Fortnite at the moment. With loading screens to game mode thumbnails, Tilted Towers has been consistently teased to really make a comeback ever since the closing seasons of Chapter 2. However, with Chapter 3, every sign points to Tilted Towers finally returning as the snow begins to melt. In fact, you can even see it now if you really look at the game map. You're going to be able to see blocks of ice in a very particular manner near the center of the map. Interestingly enough, the position of the blocks of ice match up perfectly with the position of the buildings on the fan favorite POI. Competitive wise, this is actually going to shake things up a bit when revealed. Why? Well, if you take a look at the map as it is right now, you're going to see that unlike Chapter 2, which had many POIs close to the center of the map, Chapter 3 seems to be lacking that centerpiece. Instead, there is a huge chunk of snowy terrain that seems to just go on and on and on, creating this big empty space between the surrounding POI. So if the position of Tilted Towers is correct, it's going to have an effect on rotation since the POI being located in the area bridges the gap between the surrounding areas and gives players an extra stop as they move to get closer and closer to the storm circles. Not only that, the popularity of Tilted Towers will make it a highly contested area as more players choose Tilted Towers over the other landing spots. Tilted Towers may not be the only new POI coming in future updates. You know, we all know that POIs tend to get updated or even get rotated out as this season progresses. And so, you know, sometimes the best way to find out more is by looking at the loading screens. You know, one interesting POI that would be a fantastic addition to the chapter map would be Java's Palace. The new Boba Fett loading screen includes a render location above the Rancor Pit. This would not be the first time a Star Wars POI would be introduced into Fortnite. Just last year during Chapter 5, we were able to land on Moss Eisley and even battle the Mandalorian for a mythic weapon and legendary equipment. With brand new POI making the way to Fortnite, it means that you're going to need all those sharpshooting skills that you can get to survive the early game. So click on the link below to visit Aim Lab. There you're going to be able to train your aim so you can hit your targets more often and really get twice as many eliminations as you could before. With so many training routines to choose from, you are guaranteed to see improvement. With the start of January, Snow Stealth Sloan has arrived in the Fortnite Crew Pack. It's an excellent start to the new year, but also a hint at what's to come story-wise. So if you've been following the narrative so far, then you already know that we've left the imagined order behind once the island flipped. Jonesy has defected and wants to help put a stop to the island's endless cycle of battle royale by freeing everybody once and for all. However, while the focus of this season has been expanding the lore of the seven, the imagined order are not out of the picture just yet. Even now, the IO are just clawing their way through the island's crust and into the surface. In fact, by now, they've already made their way up to the surface and have set up camps near the excavation drills. With the IO back on the island, it has led to speculation of what the next season of Fortnite might be bringing to the table. Some even suggest that we might see the return of Shadow V's Ghost Style event, where players will have to choose between the IO and the Seven. This could also bring back weapons and vehicles such as the IO rifle, IO cars, and possibly even the dreaded railgun. So how do we tame a beast in Fortnite? You know, last chapter, we got some new craftables that really let us tame dinosaurs, wolves, and wild boars. However, the most they would do is follow you around and really defend you against attackers. Now, we have a new beast ready to take the island by storm and a new way to ride across the island. This ferocious creature seems to be a dinosaur known as Buttercake. Threatening name, right? <laughs> Buttercake has been around since like the release trailer, but has yet to really show up for the actual game mode. They also make an appearance in the new Boba Fet loading screen, taking the place of Ranker as Jabba's prized pet. Luckily enough, we got some new information on this elusive beast, giving us some heads up on how they will be able to be used once they finally emerge from their slumber. The first is that there were two new hotkeys being tested, one of which is Dismount and the other being Riding Ability. Not only that, but there seems to be new items related to Butter Cake, one being a special fruit that spawns near them as well as a new meat item that drops whenever you kill them. So this new meat is said to heal 50 health. Butter Cake will appear 
apparently also have the ability to redeploy players using a blowhole in the back of its head. Wow. Uh, there is also information hinting at a new legendary item known as Saddler. Will this new item be used to tame the new creature or will it have other uses? <laughs> I guess we're going to find out more as we get deeper into 2022. All right, so chapter three really has given us plenty of weapon choices. However, there is still so much more to discover and 2022 is going to give us all even more equipment to play around with. So one leak suggests that there are currently mythic versions of the standard weapons currently in the works. While this doesn't really mean that they are all gonna be released, having them in the game files means they can be implemented at any time. And so this can be good news for shotgun players since the new mythic might just mean the boost and damage necessary to make the weapons more viable and competitive. I guess we'll see. According to the game files, there's also a pistol-like weapon in the works uh, known as the Build Breaker. This is going to be able to deal a whopping 400 damage to builds per shot. And this is absolutely crazy and adds yet another weapon capable of punching through enemy builds. Uh, the only downside at the moment is that there is a two second delay between shots. Also returning is the Flare Gun, which is the perfect item for all you castaways. It's going to make lighting structures on fire so much easier than you using fireflies or even gas tanks. So builders beware, you're definitely in for a scare. Okay, so as if healing couldn't get any insane, the shield keck finally released recently, giving players a whole new way to keep their team alive. However, just when we thought we saw the last of the healing items revealed, a brand new set of items have been found but cannot be used currently in the game. So the first of these items is the pizza box. Who doesn't love pizza? I know I love pizza. Uh, new intel suggests this new item may become available at some point in the future. The pizza will be multi-use, allowing players to heal their health and shield in 25 points increments. So essentially, your character would be eating individual pieces of pizza uh, making this an interesting item to really use for competitive if it sees the light of day we'll see another healing item is a robotic new backpack that will gradually heal you up to 50 shields at one point per second with so many healing items just waiting to be added to the game we can only imagine how the healing meta is going to evolve as we progress through season one and head right into season two all right, so when the trailer dropped for Fortnite Chapter 3, we all got a glimpse at many things we could expect from the new update. One of the most dynamic features we haven't gotten a chance to see yet has been the weather update. So roaring tornadoes and chaotic thunderstorms are going to strike at random, making the map way more like dynamic than ever before. Just recently, we were able to get a glimpse at these game hazards in action. Their tornado has been spawned into the map by leakers, and it shows how players can really ride the winds to achieve a whole new form of rotation. Early gameplay reveals that the tornado, while slow, does in fact move around once it spawns. Also, players are going to seemingly need to ride in the same direction as the wind to really climb further up their tornado and really gain altitude. Thunderstorms, on the other hand, are just much more interesting than initially thought of with the lighting not only setting fire to nearby trees and causing some vehicles to explode, but they will also have a stat changing effect when they hit players. Leaks suggest that getting hit by a lightning bolt does not necessarily mean that you're going to take immense damage, but rather the shock is going to toss you into the air. While this might disorient you, uh, a bit like the leaks go on to suggest that the lightning will give you guys a pretty sweet boost in speed that lasts roughly around 12 seconds. So we still don't know how this is going to affect the meta, but we do know that with these changes, it can make matches way more unpredictable. All right, so before we wrap up today, don't forget to visit Aim Lab. This free program can help you on your goal to becoming an aim legend in Fortnite. Try out their fully customizable training routines and improve your aim today. But you girls tell me where you at your motivation guy is back, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got so much cool stuff coming out. Be sure to leave a like and ring that bell button, sub to the channel, and, and just spread the word to everybody that you know because this channel, I'm telling you right now, is going to the next level. So remember, guys, we're in for an exciting year of Fortnite, and the updates are only going to get better and better. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.